there, a kid likes to look out. <gasps> oh, no oh, way. No. Dude, no, no, what? No, no. <gasps> yo, 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 yo. Bro, what? I wander these grounds. I wander these grounds. Mm -hmm. I was like, I just felt something touch my leg. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Jody Dean here, Mr. Hunting the Dead. Welcome back to another video. If you guys could go ahead and smash that thumbs up, comment below, share this on social media. Uh, right now, I'm here in North Carolina and I am getting ready to investigate this place right here the Dry Goods Country Store and Museum. Now, this place has been. Um, on a special on Netflix. Many, many paranormal investigators have been here. Documented hauntings, artifacts, antiques, history galore. Now I'm here in North Carolina because I am filming for my new movie, Mallet 2. It comes out October 25th. Make sure you put that on your calendars. One of my actresses is getting ready to show up right now. One of my friends, one of my supporters. She told me about this place and she said, Jody, I've caught EVPs here. I've seen things, I've heard things. She said, this place is haunted. She said, this place is haunted. Dog kill the cat, You ever walk into one of those places that just has a big amount of spiritual energy and it's almost like it hits you in the face? This place is that place. I was standing there looking at the caskets and the light flickered above me and all of a sudden the green little gate came open and the only way to open it is with the little latch. So right now we're just kind of walking through this place, you know, feeling it out, seeing if we feel anything. Uh, and I just heard a little bit of history about it. Now my my friend Sam is with me. She's been here before, so you know we'll ask her some questions and stuff like that. But I will say this: there's like a little bit of a vibe here. I feel something. All right, guys. So I told you that I'm up here in North Carolina area, uh, filming with my good friend Sam. Uh, we got her in Mallet too, which is really awesome. But she has introduced me to a place here that turns out to be very haunted. So many stories. Uh, did you just hear that? Yo, what? It, that happened. Ain't that crazy? That I got goosebumps. Like, I'm not even joking. I mean, I, I don't see. No. Hold on. Okay, so what is crazy about this is, and she just told me this, so hold the phone. This used to be a room where they did like viewings, like like basically like a funeral up here. This used to be a room where they would put the casket and we just heard something in the spot where I'm assuming they probably would have put it towards the back here, most yeah, likely. This is where it would be sitting and then you'd have like the podium with oh the my God. and stuff. And you can see like the age of this place, guys. Just That's I the mean, wow. And wallpaper. Yep. And and this is just about where we just heard a noise. So this isn't my intro. Intro. I was introducing her, and 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 we had something. So uh, this is Sam from Sam's Pretty Paranormal. Um, she does videos over there. Go check her out. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. She makes all kinds of really cool content. And you can check her out and uh, and my movie Mallet Two coming out October twenty fifth, dude. We are freaking out right now. She was just getting ready to do her intro and the lights in here just shut off. Swear, I did not catch it on camera. This is why you should probably never stop filming. Now I'm gonna just keep my camera running even while she does her intro, but um, are you okay? No, actually, I'm lightheaded as like. I was in here, uh -huh. I logged in the lights turned off and where the caskets are, the gate opened up by itself. No. Wait, isn't this the light though? They have it covered so you can't turn it off. What? No, wait, look at that, bro. I know. When I tell you, when I tell you, I'm telling you. Two things right away. So, all right, this is crazy. Alicia's keeping the kids quiet over here. Um, 
We haven't even done her intro yet. This is wild. Listen, I'm gonna talk about some of these things on the wall, but we're gonna let her do her thing. I'm just gonna keep it filming just in case something happens. Okay. All right. <laughs> Good Lord. Hey guys, it's your girl, Sam's Pretty Paranormal, back with another video featuring Mr. HTD, Hunting the Dead, Jody Dean. He's in this video, and guess what? I'm gonna be in his movie, Mallet 2. We That's just right. got done wrapping up that scene last night. It was dope. So she be did sure to, yeah, keep your eye on his social medias. Go to his YouTube channel if you haven't already subscribed over there, which half of you probably are, but if you're new, go to Hunting the Dead, keep an eye on his stuff. Social medias, it's all the same, Hunting the Dead, Facebook. And what is it, Twitter, Mallet? Yeah, yeah, Mallet, Instagram, all that good stuff. Yeah, I'll put it all in the description. But follow her, more importantly than anything, leave her some love in the comments, share all her videos, and, and help this Thank channel you. blow up like it deserves. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but, okay. Okay, so we're having stuff happening right away. Now let's hope that it happens now that we're paying attention. So we're gonna probably do some spirit talker in a minute, but let's acknowledge some of these creepy pictures. And when I say they're creepy, to me they're creepy beautiful. They're old, they're antique. When that light went off, I know you guys didn't see it. I, I she, she looked like a ghost. <laughs> So cool, man. But you know, with all these antiques and artifacts here, it's bound to contribute some kind of energy on top of what you said, Sam. There's, this was a funeral room. Yeah, this was, this was the funeral room. I'm sure I've shown you guys before, but they would have back there, they would have the casket and then the podium and then like, they would have all the chairs and this would be like the funeral room for the funeral, which is crazy. That is. Love these oval glass pictures, bro. So cool. Moonshine bust, Madison, North Carolina. Oh, they busted them with all that moonshine. That's crazy. Good lord. So, Tell me, tell me something about this place. I mean, you've caught EVPs and stuff here yes, before. I, yes, I really, um, I come here with a friend of mine and we caught some EVPs right in this mic. Wow. And I wasn't even, I got home, I started editing. I wasn't expecting anything, just throw right. the video together. It and was, you had caught it, stuff it you didn't even know. It was a kid's voice too. It was a kid, but wow. I don't, I wasn't getting that when I, when I replayed the video, I wasn't mm. getting that. And uh, my three-year-old was with me. He went to sleep at three o'clock on the way home. Didn't wake up till the next day. I remember you said you felt like that. It almost it like drained it drained his energy. Him, but I felt like it was using him, mm -hmm. his energy, because when my friend was asking questions, he was like answering. Mm -hmm. But he typically doesn't do that. So I wow, it was, it was insane. It was. That is this insane. This place has got a lot. Have you heard any like stories about this place? Anything you remember? Like, um, well, there the owners before Smitty, mm -hmm. um, his name was Richard, and his office was up here. And I think it, they've changed it so much, but it was in um, this room next to us where they actually prepared the bodies. Oh wow! Of the Lawson family, and wow. he Holy said cow. he had so much activity. He he had to move his office out of there because they've seen um, a child spirit walking mm -hmm. around, running and playing. I mean, they, they've had all kinds of stuff. People walking up here when nobody was here. Um, a kid likes to look out. Oh, <gasps> no way. Dude, no, no, what? No, no, no. Yo, 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 yo. Bro, what? You've got to be kidding me. She's talking about the history of this place and the light just went off in here. The light is right there. You can't even, you can't even touch it, okay? See, look, you can't touch it. It's, it's blocked. That no is way. insane. It's 
someone um, drove by one night and mm -hmm. they were like, is your grandkids upstairs? And he's like, I don't have grandkids and nobody's here. And they were like, oh, okay, we, we saw a kid in the window. Wow, so with hearing a kid, hearing that, um, I noticed that when the kids come in here, their energy is very happy. It's like a really yeah. friendly like vibe. It makes me wonder if it like, you know, almost like they don't even realize it that they it's happening. Don't. I don't think they do. Because like I was just saying, I haven't seen Jace like, he's like really like on a... Just giddy, yeah. Yeah, really giddy, perfect, yeah, but perfectly said. Like, there's, there's also a doll. There's an old doll that sits in the window, and Smitty has said several times that it will move. It will, it will be in the floor or it will be in a different spot. That's funny because I, I B-rolled that on my way here, uh, like, you know, before I came in the building, and I didn't think about it. I was just like, I got to B-roll that doll. Yeah. Oh yeah. Gosh, see? Okay. I get a vibe back here. Hold on. I know it's dark. It's probably, it might be off limits. I'm not sure. But I don't plan on causing any trouble. Just curious. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second, guys. Let me get a light on here. Hello? Did we just hear something make a noise in here just a moment ago? <gasps> Did you hear that? Hello? Dude, this sounds like there's something in here, Sam. I'm not even kidding. It just sounded like something moved right here. No, maybe I, I, could it be a rat or something? I don't know. I doubt it. If you're in here right now, can you make a noise for us? Can you say something into the camera maybe? Is that what you're talking about? No, I was talking about that one. I didn't even see that one. Oh, dude, look at this one. No. Oh my god. Whoa. That is crazy. <gasps> yeah, it's kind of creepy, isn't it? Okay. No. And there's a. Hey, look, we found a ghost. Oh. Camera. Snoopy. Alicia loves this kind of stuff, dude. She'd be in here geeking out if she's seen these. Oh. Vintage, like, you know. Yeah, I love the vintage stuff. <gasps> dude! What? How did that just go off? What? Your light? Yeah. Oh. Dude, no lie. Bro. You have to literally push it in and turn off. It makes a clicking noise. You guys can hear. I didn't. I didn't make. I didn't make. No, I didn't hear the clicking. Yo. Oh, okay. whoa. There's more old dolls. I'm gonna have to like look back on my clip, but I could have swore because when I turned the camera, when you turned the light on, I thought it was like I'm gonna look. Okay. Clips, but I think I felt like it was something. You it felt like you might have caught like an orb or anomaly. Santa, not like a person, like. I'm gonna look Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. All right. So the crazy thing about this is, is until it, Sam did a few years ago, tell me about this place. Um, but it was so long ago, like I hadn't thought about it. So when I was on my way here today, this is all new to me. I, I'm just finding out about this place. So it's not like a place that somebody's pounded in my head that, Hey, you need to go here. This has happened. This has happened. Lots of sounds coming from this area. Immediately, we are getting some experiences. And here's the crazy thing. This place is open. The lights are on. There's people downstairs. There's people working here. This place, it would appear it's pretty freaking haunted right away. Wow. I am going to pull up. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's see what's over here. This 
used to be a hotel room? This used to be also be a hotel where people where passerbys would come through, um, tobacco salesmen. The they used to spit on the wall. Their spit is still on the wall. What? Their spit is still on the wall. Okay, so here's what's crazy about this, guys. Back in the day, people used to really like have businesses with inside businesses. This was a hotel, this was a funeral parlor, this probably was a cafe and maybe it was a brothel all at the same time, we don't really know. But I'll tell you this, all these artifacts, right? Look at this historic town surrounding this place. It's just fueled with energy. Even this cabinet here, look how old this is, bro. <gasps> I thought it was going to be locked because it has one of those little key things. I'm going to pull this out and just double check real quick and see if there's any writing on the bottom of it. Sometimes people would do that. And it's not. What a beautiful original piece. Have you ever had like an experience here where you felt like maybe like something touched you or? No, but I felt like the last time when I was here, um, something had followed me mm -hmm. and maybe even my kids for a little bit. Cause some, it was just, it was off for a little bit. Right. Um, it's, it's, it, I don't feel it anymore, but the last time anything I have to do with Charlie Lawson, something happened. Mm -hmm. It's not even a joke. Yeah. It's like when I went to his, when I went to the cemetery and I come back and I edited that video, right behind me on the wall was like bam, bam, bam. And wow. everything with Charlie Lawson, something happened. Charlie Lawson. Charlie Lawson. <sighs> if it has to do with Charlie Lawson, yeah. there's something that happens here. I'll tell you guys something. I was using the restroom downstairs and while I was in there, I thought I heard a woman's voice. I'm like, well, there's a bunch of people in the cafe, right? right? Didn't pay attention to it. All of a sudden, I'm washing my hands and I heard it again. This time, it sounded like it was right by me. So I asked the woman, I said, I know this might sound weird, but in a little while here, I'm gonna be filming. Do you mind if I come back in here and film? And she said, no. Yeah. The voice that I heard, I didn't really make this connection until I was walking out. There was a picture on the wall of a woman and whenever I, I first went in there, I looked up at there and I said, oh, hey, how you doing there, ma'am? Just playing around, being yeah. funny, yeah. not thinking anything about it. And it made me wonder if like maybe she responded to me like late. Maybe she did. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Hello, sir. <laughs> now I'm gonna get a hello here in a minute. Whoa. Alicia, I could see you in something like that. Yeah. Little Pinkie Pie wearing some Pinkie Pie. Woo! That's what we say, woo doggy. Now you couldn't just walk up to girls wearing something like this and be like, yo, what up girl? You had to be like, ma'am, good day. Whoa. This is legit a museum. No apostropedic, but guys, listen. I, I know it's a little squeaky in here and everything like that. This is a very old place. Still, listen hard, okay? Because there are a lot of. Listen, this is where I was standing. Uh huh. And I was standing right here. Right? Okay. I was videoing the coffins, and then I stopped, and that light went off, and that gate opened by itself. And the only way to open this gate uh -huh. is if you do this. And I didn't touch it. And that's a child's coffin. Right. Yeah. That's, that's a, I didn't touch it at all. Whoa. Used to. Oh my God. It's the gathering room, guys. I have a thing for old old blankets old quilts 
I know that's crazy, because I look like a thug, right? And I'm like, man, you got a thing for, for quilts, Jody? I never heard about a thug that had a thing for quilts. I'm a quilt thug. All right. this oh yo <gasps> oh there was just hey there was just something that happened right there there was just a voice that happened right there okay so right now there's like music playing out here and like I know we're all talking there's traffic going by I'm pr what I just heard a voice in there. Yeah, a ghost. Wait, what happened? Look. What is it? Look down here. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a little ghoul down there. Welcome to ghoul school, baby. Alright. Gonna go across the hallway here and see if we see anything. So there's like antiques and stuff up here, like people's booths, so you can actually buy stuff from here. Ooh. Original elevator? What? So they would bring the bodies up this way. Oh my god. <gasps> Crazy, that is legit, like old school style. Mm -hmm. Is that open or no? No, they won't let you up there because of liability. Because oh, okay. There's no protect. There's no door on the elevator. Mm -hmm. So you, you could, you could, yeah. Alicia's gonna ask me to buy this for her, I can tell you already. Uh, Alicia, if you want it, I'll get it for you. It's 50 bucks. You sure? You need to come look at it. She's got a thing for vintage Christmas direct uh, decorations. Uh, can't talk today, you know stuff that we grew up on right that that was that would have been in our yard when we were kids yeah. Yeah. they don't do blow mold stuff like that no more i know that was the good stuff it was guys we haven't even done the spirit talker yet we're just walking feeling talking showing this year oh. Oh my God, I heard somebody talking. I said, there's a spirit in here having a full blown conversation. What is going on here? She's having a conversation with her congregation. Oh, hello. You scared the hell out of me. Oh my good Lord. There's another child's casket. Bro, listen, I used to, oh my goodness. I used to work in a funeral home and I told them, I said, listen guys, don't ever call me if a kid comes in here. It just, it, it, it's too much. I can't deal with it. I love kids. My kids mean the world and, and, and beyond my kids, I just really care about kids. I care about people. 
And uh, I said, I won't be no good to you if you call me and say, hey, look, we got a kid in here today. We got to put this together. I wouldn't be able to hold it together. And, and they have to have somebody that has the strength to do that. And that's not me. But when I see this, uh, wow, murder of the Lawson family ballad. This is uh, this is heavy, man. Embalming machine. And loving memory of the Lawson family. I wish that it was quiet in here so we could do like a proper, you know, like EVP session. Uh, this, that's the uh, replica dress mm -hmm. that Maria was wearing. Because um, Charlie took his family to get a photo taken. Mm -hmm. The family portrait right there. <gasps> that that's was, the dress she was wearing. That was rare back in the day because that was expensive. Yeah, yeah, this was a, a, a big luxury. He spent a lot of money to do this. And, um, I guess they were probably wondering, like, why is, this, why is he doing this? But, yeah. Dang. Like, days or weeks before he did. Maria, huh? Yep, Maria. Okay, it yeah. seems like the quietest place I have found is the place where we started out. Yeah. So, um, I guess we'll wander around a little bit more in here, and then maybe we'll go to do some EVP work over there. That's the Let's see what we get. So he killed his little girls and his wife. He killed the baby, his wife, Maria. He sent his oldest son to town because he knew he was going to be a, you know, an issue probably, you know, preventing wow. from killing. He sent him to town. He killed the baby, the mama, and the oldest daughter in there. And then the other two girls were going to their aunt's house. Mm -hmm. And they, he, they had went, they made it to the barn. And I guess he had caught up to him. He shot him. Wow. Yeah. Dude, that's, that's heavy, bro. He killed his wife, his daughters, sent his son to town, she said, because he might have tried to stop him. I, I just can't even imagine, man. His name was Arthur. Arthur. They sent him to town. He sent him to town uh, yeah, to get him out of the way. The magic cloak. And Ed and Lorraine Warren have uh, some of the memorabilia in here too, in, in that room over there. Ed and Lorraine Warren? Yeah. Really? I don't know how they come associated with it, but. That is wild. Yeah. Oh my dolls. Dude, I find dolls all the time. I don't know. People say that I'm a doll magnet. They even, my channel's Hunting the Dead, and they call me Hunting the Dolls. Um, look at this. <gasps> Bro. Yo. Dick Tracy Bonnie Braids. Dude. You know, you just can't have stuff like this and it not contribute energy. If you have a place that's already haunted and you bring this kind of stuff in, you're just, you know, you're pouring gas on the paranormal fire. As you guys know, I've done it with Dean's Haunted Mansion, so. Um, whoa. Oh my lord. Bro. I don't ever buy dolls because I find them often but I might have to buy this one there's something about this call hey I might have to get this guys I'm gonna put it down for right now and finish my invest but there's something about that one that's 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 calling me whoa what is that it's like a little creepy clown marionette doll good lord almighty I'm compelled to go back in this room here. I don't 
don't know if I'm allowed to go back here. I know they have the curtains, but I did ask them if I could film, and I know people come here to investigate and communicate. And from what I understand, I, I, I'm pretty sure the establishment here is okay with that. Um, a lot of ghost hunters come here, and, and I don't know, his name's Smitty, I think. Hey, Sam, was his name Smitty, the guy that owns this place? What, is, is his name Smitty, the guy that owns this? Okay, so Smitty that owns this place, I didn't get to meet him today, um, but supposedly he, he's the guy that has all the stories about this place. If you come here and he's here, ask him to tell you about it. Okay. Is there something in here? that would like to talk right now. My name's Jody, my friend Sam is here with me. And she's been here many times. This is my first time, but I, I, I come in peace, I mean no harm. I own a very haunted place, it's a haunted house attraction. I've done over a thousand investigations in, in my years. I just come here with respect and, and in hopes to maybe document something. Would you like to speak? Maybe you want to say something to Sam. Alicia, do me a favor. That door right there, move that chair and shut that door. It'll be okay. If people come up here, I'll, I'll, I'll open it back up. <gasps> All is well. All is well. Okay. Mm, I got you. All right. Thank you. Who is well? Who are we speaking with? What can you tell us about Charlie? Charlie Lawson, his family, maybe people that worked here, lived here, died here. I wander these grounds. I wander these grounds. So does Charlie. Because Brandy said something of like. That he wanders, they believe he wanders the grounds. All is well, I wander these grounds. That doesn't seem like, that's nothing bad. No, I don't get, no, I don't get anything bad. That's interesting though, it said that. Is there a reason you stay here wandering these grounds? Is there a reason you don't go maybe somewhere else? Go to the light, go to heaven, if that's a possibility? Here 300 years. I've never had that response before. Ever. Whoa. I don't know. I don't think so. Hold on. I can't. Uh... Yeah. No, I don't. I'm standing right here. I don't feel anything. <gasps> Yo. Good point, Sam. So that curtain's moving and there's no fan in here. There's no air. It's just, it's a black room, they're not gonna have a fan. Let me see, it won't let me run my light at the same time, will it? It will. Yes, okay, so I can run the spirit talker and my light at the same time. <sighs> Dude. I just noticed it because it was, it was moving. Like going like, like pushing. Thank you for visiting. <gasps> Bruh, what? Yo. Yeah. That is crazy. 
does that mean we have to leave now or, or can we keep vi- can we keep visiting can we keep communicating with you again we mean you no harm um if you've been watching us listening to us since we've been in here you know our intentions are good I feel like this is a spot, Sam. I don't know why. There's something about that doll right there, too. Yeah, I don't like it. Don't. The little witch. No, wait, hang on. Is there like a um? Is there like a security? Wait, hang on. Uh, is there a security? No. I saw a light. Dude, I was gonna. Say, there's no fan. I saw a red Oh, you did? Yeah, I thought it was like maybe like a like a thing on the wall. I hope I got it on my camera, but yeah, it was like a, a red dot. Maybe it was something that just manifested really quick. It could have been, but I thought it. Wow. What? There's no. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you this. Okay. This is a. Let me see which microchip this is. This is a new camera malfunction. Yes. It's 128 gigs. I don't have that much footage on here. She just had a camera malfunction. It's saying recording stop because of grandmother. This is oh. whoa. This is new. This is this is new. I don't have much on 128 gig. I got like a few videos. All right, we haven't even been filming that long. No, and it stopped. Right when you acknowledge the light that you've seen. Yeah. That's insane. So there's stuff in here that is not in the other part of the store. I'm not going to look into any of this, but I can tell you just from things I can it's see. Recording. There's... It's, it's recording again? Yep, it's okay, recording. good. There are other antiques and artifacts in here. And maybe there's something in here that they wish not to display out there. I don't know. I'm... Do, do you get a weird vibe in here? Yeah, I do. Weirder than out there? Yeah. This whole area through here, I mean, I got lightheaded. And when all that stuff was happening, like, mm -hmm. I was like... I just felt something touch my leg. Oh my Dude, something just touched my ankle. I haven't been touched in a while. <laughs> I haven't been touched in a while. Something just touched my ankle. It felt like, I swear to God, it just felt like a finger went right across. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. Because when all that stuff was happening, I got goosebumps. All over. It's turning it's turning up pretty quick, which is I didn't expect that. Like I did feel something when I walked in, but like I didn't feel like mm, you know yeah. this is gonna be anything physical. <laughs> I've walked through this whole thing and didn't feel anything and, and yeah. it just felt like something just went like this to my ankle. Yeah. That's it. I was looking down expecting to see My name is Margaret. Margaret, does that does that mean anything? Margaret, dude, I, I forgot the woman's name already that you said Mar Maria. Maria. Shit. Yeah, okay. But like so many people have died and come through here. Right. They have, they've, I mean, they've, if it would have said Maria, would you have would done a backflip? <laughs> She'd right out. Oh, her little red. That's crazy. Um, watching. <gasps> Yo, where are you watching at right now? Did you just touch me a second ago? Did you turn off cam? Did you turn off Sam's camera? Did you turn off the Sam cam? The Sam cam, yeah. So you did, because it's letting me record now. Wow. And it said that my space was full. That is wild. And guys, we, we've split up a little bit here. Not not a lot, but enough for you guys to go watch her video too. So you can see if there's anything different. And, and look, listen guys, just because we do this a lot, we still miss EVPs and stuff too. So if you guys hear something, just timestamp it in the comment section. Are we friends? Uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, we come in peace. I mean, we're definitely down to be friends. <laughs> if you're nice, trust me, we're nice. Oh my God.
there's a lot of people in here right now, guys, and there's a lot of traffic and there's music, but yeah. overall, there's a lot of energy and, and, and little noises. That mirror. That mirror is. I love that mirror. They don't have this from Goodwill. They don't have an outfit to buy, but I love that mirror. I don't know. I feel compelled over here, man. Yeah. I, I don't know why, but there's just something about this spot. It makes me wonder if it's this doll. So, it, yeah, it gets a little bit um, heavier in here. It sure does. You have to, like, take a breath. Sit and listen. <laughs> what? Well, how about I just stand and listen? Is that okay? I, I don't want to sit and listen because I want to be able to run out if I need to. If I get scared, I need to be able to run. Jody, want to run? <laughs> I don't know why I just felt like there was going to be something stand. What? Well, well, there's a snowman standing there, but there's a tree. All right, anxiety's kicking in. I know. Yeah, it's it's definitely a different feeling in here. I don't know what this. I mean, I don't know what this would have been used for if that's the main area where they used to view the people. I don't know what this would have been for. Can you? Can you touch Sam on the shoulder or can you touch me on the shoulder? Can you manifest? Can you make a tap, knock, turn on the light? There is a light here. I don't know if it turns on or not. Turn on the light, turn it off, turn it on and turn it off. That might have been them. It sounded like it came from that. I don't even, I don't know if you heard the same thing I did. I think we both felt something, but yeah. it just sounded like a little footstep in this corner. Oh, yeah. <sighs> My heart Art. is. <gasps> Bro. No, Bro. Did it just say heart? Bro, I was just about to say my heart is racing. It says a whole. Bro, I was just about to see my heart is racing, and it says heart. Dude, oh my god, my ribs. Standing right here, bro. I was just about to say that. Oh my god. I just felt, I just felt lightheaded from how that made me just feel. Yeah, there's definitely sensations here. Whoa! Oh my god! It's intense. Yeah, it's crazy. Do you look familiar? Who? Oh, yeah, you mean her, right? She looks familiar. I've been here so many times. Yeah, you do. You're a regular here, right? Yeah, I like to come here sometimes. Alicia, what up? Okay, okay. All right, guys, we're gonna, out of respect, we're just gonna leave this area real quick. Uh, we're not done, but. Okay, so things were just starting to come alive in there, I wanna say. And the crazy thing is, is we're still only like 40 minutes into this, um, which is significant, but, but bro, those responses were starting to run through. I haven't even used the SLS yet. I wanna use the SLS in here and in there, and again, most all the artifacts are out here, and I'm pulled towards this part. Yeah. I don't know. What about you? You feel anything? Yeah, whenever that light went off and that thing opened up. They got you? If there is something watching us right now, if you're listening, can you please... Oh. What happened? Okay, somebody wanted to come in here, but I think they realized we were filming and they didn't want to get up in our Kool-Aid. Um, anyway, mirror, mirror on the wall. No, for real. 
If you can use this energy, if you can use this as a portal to come through, please do so. Okay guys, I'm using the ghost tube as cell what the heck? Okay. I'm using the ghost tube SLS and if there is a spirit in here, it will show up in a stick figure form. There's something going haywire right there. Um, this app doesn't malfunction too often. If it's not in a human form, it will map something that's trying to manifest. There's nothing human-like about that chair or that table. There's something it's picking up right there. Can you come? You talk about a kid being in here. I mean, that's really little. Whoa. Can you? Can you come? and stand right in front of this camera. Can you do that for us? Lawson, any of the Lawson family? I don't know what's going on right there. That's weird, because it ain't doing it to none of the other chairs, right? I mean, it's, whoa. It's almost like a little spidery looking thing. Oh! <gasps> Yo, 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 yo. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, so that's a human-like thing. That's, that, that makes sense. But. Whoever we've been communicating with here this whole time, will you please come up and stand in front of this device in the direction I'm filming. I don't see a shadow of nobody, but I heard somebody sound like they took a big step right there. That might just be the kids, I don't know. <gasps> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Through the curtain. It's dark. Oh, uh -oh. yo, gang. Oh, Lordy. There's something, there's something. I'm gonna count to three, and I want you to wave your hand. Show up and wave your hand. One, two, Three. One, two, three. Come on, put that hand up. Don't have to back off, come forward. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. That is not what we came way out of our way here to do. See, that's cool. What you just did, that's very exciting because a lot of people, they, they want to see that. That shows that as a spirit, you can actually use your energy to, to still be seen. Can you do that and hold it? Whatever you're doing, use that amount of power and hold that amount of power. Please. Something trying. And there ain't nothing right there that would make that happen either. It's pretty wild, huh? Charlie? Any of the Lawson family? You got it, you got it. You got it, there it is, come on. Hold it, hold it. Gosh. 
Stand up straight. Dude, they're down there. Oh, that's it. This is the spot. There was nobody here. Yeah. Right. See, it maps her just fine, as it should. What about right by her, though? Can you come stand by her? If you feel anything, oh, uh, it just tried to stand inside of you. Yeah, so something keeps showing up in all different areas, but there's something that keeps trying to manifest within her time to time, which is really crazy and, and, and creepy as well. So what do you think? Like, obviously you've been telling me for years now this place is haunted. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If you had to guess who it is, what would you say? think it could be the people that might have spent overnight in here waiting for their families to come see them? I think we're, it, there's so many bodies that's come mm -hmm. here and so many people. I mean, it could be several souls yeah. just, just that's stuck here for some reason. Could be an object here, some item, artifact that they're tied to. He's got tons of those downstairs and I know it comes with so much energy because people donate this stuff. Right. That's old as crap. I mean, right. And a picture to a lot of people back in the day was equivalent to what it would be for us now getting a, a 65 inch TV or a brand yeah. new car. Like it was really a, a big deal. Yeah. A lot of money. Um, you wouldn't have got 20 or 30 different takes. You wouldn't have got your pictures on a CD. You would have gotten one good picture that you and your family, it would be printed. You'd put it up in your living room or by your dining room, uh, dining room table and you'd have, spent a, uh, you'd have spent a paycheck on it. For sure. Wow. It's, it's, it's an awesome place. I feel like the caskets are I feel like the caskets have something probably huge to do with it because they've had bodies in them. Those are loner caskets. Those are caskets that would have been used for a viewing and why, you know, that's why they're still here, right? Yeah. Let's look at that again. These are not replicas. Even the bedding in them is original. Yeah, it's, it's original. So, I mean, it's like the stone tape theory, right? So like if, if somebody is a part of this for a moment, that moment is recorded in time. So whenever you revisit that moment each year, on that month, on that week, on that day, on that minute, on that second, you're here at the right time, something can manifest. And, and, and it's almost like a, a, a reverb of it happening. Like this casket, bro. They it was make only $325. <laughs> wow, times have changed. Yeah. The the funeral home that I worked for, our cheapest casket was like I think thirty five hundred, 
and it was, I mean, it was as basic as it gets. One of our good caskets would have ran you about 8,500. So, you know. Yeah. That was yeah. the day that they brought the Lawson family out, that picture. Mm -hmm. They brought them out and put them in the hearses to take them over there to Broward Home Cemetery. Wow. Yeah. And look how many hearses are in that picture. I'll, I'll try and zoom in on this if I remember, guys. If not, I apologize. Wow. If there's any room here that I could go in, turn the lights off, and spend some time in, it would definitely be this one. Um, it's just there's something there. All right, guys. So uh, they're closing up. We had to shut it down. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be around tomorrow. So we got what we got. I hope you enjoyed it. Smash that thumbs up, comment below, share it on social media. Big shout out to Sam. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description. Thanks for turning me on to this oh, place yeah, and being in my movie. Uh, we love you guys so much. You can become members. You can become patrons. We post every other day. Live chat, live premiere, always right here on the Hunting the Dead channel. But until next time, sweet nightmares. Woke up this morning laying next to a dead girl Eyes closed, living in a dead world I don't know what is real or what is not All I know is last night, I seen God I was taught there's no such thing as a friggin' ghost Until I went looking, damn I found them really close EVPs and my camera saying please get out I don't think the evil, I'm just trying to help them out I see dead people Every time I'm on the hunt, I see dead people. But dog, I never run. I see dead people every time I'm stepping out. Hey. I see dead, I see dead, I see dead people. Hey. There's some spirits in this house. Let's yeah. raise the roof. There's some spirits in this house. Let's raise the roof. I was looking in the mirror when I think I seen a demon. Look like the devil, but hell, I never seen him. I was reading Revelations when I heard the voice of Jesus. Daddy left my mama cause she wouldn't kill a fetus. I spend most of my nights having sessions in the cemetery. Finding all my prospects, checking the obituaries. They think I'm crazy, cray. I got that scary J. Type to play the Ouija, laying in a shallow grave. Turning shit up a notch, let no one else. I see dead people, yeah, maybe I can use some. Help. I see dead people every time I'm stepping out. Hey. I see dead, I see dead, I see dead people. Hey. There's some spirits in this house. Yeah. Let's raise the roof. There's some spirits in this house. Let's raise the roof. I see dead people every time I'm stepping out. Hey. I see dead, I see dead, I see dead people. Hey. There's some spirits in this house. Yeah. Let's raise the roof. There's some spirits in this house. Let's raise the roof. Man, I see a spirit. I know that you can hear it. I don't even fear it, you can tell that I'm near it When I burn the sage, all the evils come to rage When I'm on the stage, groupie witches want my babies Hey girl, I can haunt you like Zozo No clown shit, you can call me Bozo I'm just lurking like Freddy, and here he comes Claw marks down your back, yeah you better run They can see it in the shadows, yeah they know it's done I see dead people, I'm about to fuck this nun I see dead people every time I'm stepping out. Hey. I see dead, I see dead, I see dead people. Hey. There's some spirits in this house. Yeah. Let's raise the roof. There's some spirits in this house. Let's raise the roof. I see dead people every time I'm stepping out. Hey. I see dead, I see dead, I see dead people. Hey. There's some spirits in this house. Yeah. Let's raise the roof. There's some spirits in this house. Let's raise the roof.